React Native Brownfield was introduced in 2019, correct? Yes, yes. Yeah. 2019, and uh, since then we are working on uh, the new version. Uh, so can you tell us uh, who authored it? What, was it you? Was it you with some other folks at Colstack? Yeah, uh, initially it was me with Mike Grabowski, uh, our uh, CTO, uh, and um, we initially thought of a set of uh, helpers to facilitate uh, integrating React Native into existing native apps. Uh, so, you know, it saves a lot of time as you can omit several initial steps, as well as um, decrease entry barrier for developers who work on such project. Uh, and uh, at the beginning, those steps usually are, uh, first of all, you start with preparing some native classes that render React Native components within their bounds. Uh, then you load JavaScript uh, bundle, you store an instance of React Native Bridge into some singleton and reuse it between uh, different um, uh, different components. Uh, and then you prepare JavaScript API to, uh, let's say, compose native and JavaScript navigators, because that's often a case that you have to embed the screen into uh, native uh, navigation hierarchy, and you do not want user to notice that uh, at some point there are operating in React Native. Yeah, this was actually the hard part when I tried to visualize how Brownfield works. So you can imagine that if you have a mobile application written in native Android, you could do React Native as like completely different set of screens and like just link the two words with just one intent, one mm -hmm. navigation change. And uh, you are in the native now, uh, you transfer to React Native and you browse in React Native. The hard part mm -hmm. for me is how do you mix and match the native with non with React Native, which is still native, but with some bit of JavaScript on top of it. and how do you maintain the whole system? This is uh, this is really mind blowing for me. I didn't do much of a brownfield, as you can imagine. <laughs> sure. Uh, yes. Yeah, so I will tell you about the maintenance uh, in a second. So I will be speaking about what's going on uh, at the moment at the, in, in React Native brownfield. Uh, but before I do that, uh, I will answer the. Uh, part regarding the integration itself, which yeah. was covered in the uh, initial re release of React Native Brownfield. Uh, so uh, generally, you don't need to create uh, a separate intent. You can embed React Native into Fragment or an instance of uh, Android uh, view. Uh, so uh, basically, you can embed a React Native component into native character, which helps a lot. Because then you have uh, native navigator, for example, uh, you uh, change. You, you have navigations based on fragments, which is, uh, I think, the standard now for Android applications. Uh, and at some point, you render React Native within that. And uh, what you need to do uh, basically is to toggle which uh, navigator is active. Is it the JS one or is it the native one? Uh, so React Native Brownfield has uh, some helpers to to do that. Okay. 